This guy, what a guy. I've worked with him many times before. As a matter of fact, last time I worked with him was summertime. Red-headed kid, and he'd gone outside for easily over five minutes where he was burnt to a crisp. <laughs> You're going to love him. A funny, funny son of a gun. Nice round of applause, Mr. Louis C.K. Yeah! Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. How you doing? Good, I'm doing okay. Actually, I just got over the flu, which was kind of crappy. But the worst part is that I smoke. And I think that's what the stupidest you feel about being a smoker is when you're sick and you still smoke, you know? No matter how sick you are. I mean, you can wake up in the morning, you're coughing up little furry animals, you know? You're, you're coughing up tickets to the ice capades. But you're really in bad shape, but first thing you reach for is a cigarette. <laughs> Jesus. And you finish it. You'll force yourself to smoke all day long no matter how much it hurts. That's when you realize smoking, it's like taking a cheese grater and going, well, this will probably really hurt, but uh, ah, what the hell. You know, it's a, <laughs> it's a habit. I thought it looked cool when I was in junior high school. I guess that's where it starts. I don't know what's, I'm taking a course in sign language. Uh, I know one sentence. I'd like to teach it to you. This is my one sentence. I know it goes like this. Which means I like to do this. <laughs> I do, I love doing this. <laughs> and I want all the deaf people to know it. It's communication. It's telling people what you want. We all use it. Now, I think we have some strange methods that I never understood. Like, when somebody wants you to be quiet, what do they usually do? Yeah, they make this noise. They go, shh, shh, shh. Now, what the hell is that anyway? I mean, there's nothing about that particular noise that makes me want to shut up when I hear it. So how to get to be the official shut up noise anyway? <laughs> Who picked it? If it had to be some random noise, instead of going, shh, why don't they go, ah! That would make me shut up. It's like, what the hell is your, you know. We all use these rules. Like when you hitchhike, you're supposed to do this. Now, why does this mean give me a ride? What if you go to some other country where this means like pull over and beat the crap out of me or something, you know? <sighs> so anyway, I, I did. Now, I'm, I'm, I do this too. Like the other day, I went to buy a hairbrush, right, at a little pharmacy store. And uh, <laughs> it's the stupidest thing. I go up to the girl at the counter because I didn't know what aisle to be in. And I said, excuse me, could you tell me where I could find a, a hairbrush? And then I'm like, Lou, what the hell is this? I mean, this girl's probably putting herself through college by working at this place, and here I'm going, hairbrush? Hairbrush? You know, like she's going to go, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> Aisle six. So I got the hairbrush, I brought it up to the guy at the counter, I had my cash in my hand, like in the guy's face, and he says, how would you like to pay for that, sir? I'm like, oh, actually, you know, I'd like to pay for it like this. <laughs> I know, you get hassled when you go out, right? You go to a restaurant. I went to a restaurant the other night, the kind of place where you have to tell them your name when you get there, you know? And then they, they call it out over the steam-driven PA system. You're waiting for your table, and you hear like, <laughs> What? <laughs> You're going to go, hi, was that you just called? No, and you feel like a dick, right? Actually, I solved the problem. Very simple. I just told that guy that my name is... Oh, yeah! uh, <laughs> little tip I picked up. Uh, I was talking to my grandfather the other night. He's a very proud man. He brags a lot, you know. But he's got a lot to be proud of, I think. You know, my grandfather was the first guy in history ever to say, Hey, big guy, this is me you're talking to, remember? He was the first guy. He's also the first guy to drive through Sandwich Mass and go, Sandwich, I'm hungry. <laughs> Those are the first guy to be at a birthday party when they cut the first piece out of the cake. He goes, with the rest of it, here's my slice, man. <laughs> so he's basically a douchebag, but I love him. <laughs> so anyway, I hear something that happened to me that really annoyed me. I went to a McDonald's one night. It was 2 o'clock in the morning, and the place was closed, but their drive-thru was still open. Now, I didn't have my car on me, but I figured, what's the difference? You know, I just went up there and knocked on the window. Scared the hell out of the guy because I didn't talk to the sign first, you know. He opens the window. Right away, he's copping an attitude. He's like, what the hell do you want? A cheeseburger. <laughs> no, you can't have a cheeseburger. Why not? Because you don't have a car. What? When did we vote on this? <laughs> what are you talking about? How much, how much could you care anyway? You make three thirty-five an hour, for Christ's sakes. What's with the loyalty to McDonald's? I mean, here it is, 2 o'clock in the morning, and I'm stuck hitchhiking through this drive-thru, you know. <laughs> Some guy pulled over and beat the crap out of me. <laughs> anyway, so uh, 
<laughs> it's been a good... Oh, uh, here's another thing that... Uh, you know, sometimes when people are trying to be nice, they actually end up being kind of annoying. You know what I'm talking about? Like, when you have something wrong with your car, like my muffler's dragging by a coat hanger, I'm aware of this, because for five days it's been going... <laughs> but there's always somebody on the side of the road who's got to go, your muffler's dragging. <laughs> Thanks, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Your muffle is dragging. Yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, what the hell? These are the kind of people that go out up to amputees. Your arm's gone. You know, your arm's missing. Your, your arm's missing. You know. Excuse me, sir. You're fat. You're fat. You're homeless. Excuse me. You're homeless. You know, these are these are the kind of people that you know always got to tell you when there's something on your face. You know, the kind of person's like, just go like this. Got some. Just, just, just go. What if this guy ends up in like India? Is he gonna be all over the streets of India going, just go like this. Got some. <laughs> Anyway, this is a, well, I'll leave on this because this is really pissing me off what happened the other night. This is the kind of thing that happens to me in public. I go into this dance club, beautiful place, beautiful women everywhere. I go over to the jukebox, right, because that's the horny, lonely, desperate guy thing to do. So I'm standing next to this jukebox. Right when I'm standing next to it, about to pick a song, it randomly plays something by Barry Manilow. And they're all looking at me like I picked it because I'm standing next to the thing. You guys have been great. Thanks a lot. Good night. Louis C.K. Louis C.K. That's his name. That's my name. Now, I've known you how long now? Two years now, Lou? About that, yeah. Now, yeah. when have I ever, ever seen you wear your cuffs like this? Well, this is my first what semester. is this with these cuffs hey, turned up like It's a new thing like I'm doing. It's new an experiment. Thing? What, you've been dropping an quarters experiment. and you've got to hook them on the way down? It's an experiment. <laughs> Experiment. Okay, yeah, let's yeah. ask the people. What, what do you, you think? What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> okay, those were the pro people. Uh, but the people who the people hate that it. People hate it. <laughs> so, uh, you wimpy shit. <laughs> what about I the hair? That's... How many people like the hair long? How many, <laughs> How many people hate it? 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 How many people hate the long hair? Yeah! All right, that's pretty Three more than the coat, so I guess you're in, Lou. I guess you're in. How you been? Good. Good. Beautiful. Yeah. You know, the, uh, beautiful. I had a big, big talk with this guy because he he not, might not necessarily be doing comedy right now. At one point, he wanted to join the Air Force and be a helicopter That's pilot. Right. Yeah, yeah, I was going to do that. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you were this close to signing up. Yeah. You were going down the next day. Close. Going, really? Like I want to be. A, and then I told him, you know, well, you can you can die. Doing that. Yeah, that's pretty much what did it. That's bad. I didn't know that part. That and then say it on the you country. reread the fine print. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> said, oh, flying Hueys. I yeah. could die. No. I also got sick of being asked if I'm a homosexual or a communist, which is pretty much all they do when you sign up. They keep asking. They that. keep so asking yeah. over yeah. and over. Yeah. Are you a homosexual or a communist? Or a communist? Heaven forbid you might be a homosexual communist. Yeah. That, <laughs> you know, no chance. You only got a one seater then. <laughs> That's a Reagan administration joke. They'll like that. No? So have you learned to fly? Are you taking lessons? No. Actually, I got pulled over the, uh, last night. You got pulled over? In a driving, plane no, by driving, any chance? I'm driving my car, and I got pulled over by a cop. I was doing 98 miles an hour. 98? Yeah. I wonder why he pulled you over, Lou. <laughs> anyway, he comes over, and he asks me for my license, registration. Then he goes, you got your pilot's license on you? And I'm like, uh, excuse me? You know, because I'm not a very, you know, I'm not too quick on the draw. Yeah. And he says, well, because you were flying. <laughs> it was my grandfather. It was actually who it was. And, uh, so, and you know, you know, this is a funny thing. I was doing a college gig What does a 98-mile-an-hour ticket go for? Uh, they don't, they go, went right off the chart. There's no charge for it. Off That's the, the thing. It's so fast that they like, whoa, we don't charge anything for this. You were up to six so, This is incredible. Too he fast. actually gave me a little button like AA, you know? <laughs> That was really nice. And on the way back, I got stopped. This is true. I did a college show. I came back and I got stopped by the same cop. By the exact same cop. He came over and said, We're not doing too good tonight, are we? And I said, I'm doing fine. What's your problem? You guys, you guys yeah, like dating said, now that. or anything? Maybe yeah, he saw he's the in car. The back, and, you know, yeah. He thought, What the hell? Maybe That's it was right. the cuffs that It was the cuffs. <laughs> it's something so I'm doing because cuffs. of him. He knew I love you were a man. fashion yeah. boy. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Cops like me. They do. Where are you working lately that uh, these people can see you? Uh, <laughs> out of Pancho Villas and Lemonstead. Pancho Villas. <laughs> there you go. Banditos and Fall River. Yeah. You know, hey. All the Mexican places? Yeah. yeah Every that's, Mexican that's place? Right. Uh, that's right. Little you know, Louie with salsa? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Ted Bundy's basement, I think. Are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, Barry Katz is booking a room there. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, Katz has got all those gigs. Yeah, yeah so. that's right. Barry Katz is a legend in the Boston comedy community. That's right. Barry will come up to you and tell you that I'm a legend <laughs> in the Boston camp. What are you giving me a wrap up sign for? This is my show. To hell with you. I can go as long as I want. Lou, you want to play drums? We'll do shit. <laughs> this will be fun. We'll get the mortician to put somebody up and pretend they're cold. <laughs> That's Louis C.K., ladies and gentlemen.